Okay, guys, I might have a uh, inkwell here. This spot looks like a good spot to scratch around. I see some bottles that are, I mean, I feel some bottles that are deep down. Where are you? Right here. I think that's an inkwell. I don't know what it says on the bottom. I'll clean it up and I'll show you. And I'm going to scratch around. I don't have a lot of battery space. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I thought my phone was charging, but it wasn't. Let's see, where are you? Let's see if I can get a good spot. Show you. I don't know what that says on the bottom. You guys can probably see it better than me. All right. I'm gonna scratch around. I'm gonna pause you. It says Weber Company, Philadelphia. I don't know what this is. I had to look it up, but um, I'll get back to you, okay? Let's see. I'm going to scratch around right here. That's where I just pulled it out, right here. Let's see what's down there. It looks like a milk. I got to put my gloves on, but I, I probed around, and it goes down pretty deep, so let me see. I see some Cokes over there. It looks like a Pad D. This looks like a pretty decent spot. There's something up there. I see some blue underneath, I think. Cobalt. But I'm going to scratch around here. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I did some scratching around. This, this little spot looks pretty decent. Um... I found that little ink, I think it is. And then I started scratching and I saw this right here. I kept scratching. Looks like some type of sparkling water. I don't know what it says on the side. I've never seen that before, I don't think. Um, wow, well, that's some type of Pepsi Cola. I've never seen that. Maybe I have, I just don't remember. All right, well. I, and then I saw this Noxema. I always like finding cobalt blues. They're not really worth that much. <clears throat> I have a ton of those. And these right here, I used to, I used, I took a few home before. Now I threw them away just because, um, I think they're just a small cologne. I'm, I don't collect colognes, but I threw them away. You find them everywhere, large, small, medium. So I think there's some type of perfume or cologne. So, I found this right here, and I was looking at it. I'm like, I've never found a jar that looked like that. So, I started looking more, and on the bottom, it says ball, like ball jars. So, I don't know what ball was into. Maybe they made mustards and, and uh, stuff like that. But some of the smaller emblem balls look like they were used for canning uh, and putting in grocery stores from a... From, I guess the ball company because they put their their name on the bottom. I'm gonna have to do research and I might let you know about it. But if you can see it right there, it says ball. And I have a few other ones that say ball also, real small. Not like the ball mason jars. So I don't know if these were in grocery stores with labels on them and they, they uh, packed something in them. I don't know uh, what they did. Uh, I have to have to let you know but my battery's getting low let me get you these last couple things make sure this is whole oh i think it's broke oh yeah it's broke i've never found a pepsi cola like that too bad the uh the paint on it's uh going but and the top's broke uh yeah i think these just say duraglass it doesn't give you the city yeah, I think they just say dirt glass, but that's not going home with me. Um, <clears throat> and then I found a Coke. I don't know if this is whole either. Nope. The tops broke off. Let's see what town it is. Damn, it's just an Annapolis, Maryland one. I have a few of these at home. So, that's another. I thought I had two finds there. I thought they were definitely... It looks like somebody's done pick through this stuff. So... I might move on to another place. All right, guys. I'll get back to you if I find anything else. If not, this will be the end of the video because my battery's dying. And my daughter's supposed to call me for, uh, when she gets off work so I can pick her up. 
All right, I'll get back to you. Okay, I remember now. I dug these up last time, and I dug that jar up. <clears throat> so I started probing closer to where these bottles were, and I found another jar. I might be getting close. There's something on the bottom. I don't know what it is. But I found a couple other other things in the ground. Nothing. Let's see. What's this? That's an unembossed. Looks like ketchup or something. Where are you at, camera? There you are. Uh, there's something on the bottom, but that's nothing I want. I know they're thick. So, oh, look. Gloves in the way again. Uh... Oh, there's another jar. That has some screws on it, though. When I found out about those jars, it made me interested in jars now when I'm digging. I never knew anything about jars, and I would always throw them back. Maybe this one's embossed. All right, I don't have much time on my phone, so I'm going to uh, probe this area real quick, and uh, I'll, I'll get back to you on a wrap-up. Heartbreaker, guys. I thought this was a uh, a you save it Spee's jar. They're worth a decent amount of money. I mean, this has some age to it, but it doesn't have any embossing on it, so I can tell what it is uh, or who it was made by. Nothing's on it. I still might take it home to do some more research on it, but they're worth uh, a good bit of money. The Spee's jars. S-P-E-A-S, you save it, jars. But, yeah, I'm going to give a shout out to NC Bottles. He's like a walking encyclopedia. If you want to know anything about bottles, guys, uh, mainly, uh, well, anything about bottles. He's been doing it for like 25, 30 years, I think. Uh, but, <clears throat> yeah, check out his uh, his videos. He's a good dude, too.